I'm back with another album review. Today's review is on Discovery by Daft Punk. This is the band's second studio album. Just like its predecessor, it was self-produced. The album was recorded and mixed at Daft House. It was mastered by Nilesh Patel. It was engineered by Altarion and uh, Tony Gardner. Uh, the album was released on March 12th, 2001 on Daft Life under license to Virgin Records. The album was made as a concept album that relates to the childhood of the guys from Daft Punk. Another thing I should mention is that in 2003, an animated film called Interstellar 5555, The Story of the Secret Star System, was released as a visual composition for the album. I haven't seen the movie, but maybe I should check it out someday. Now let's talk about the songs. The intro to this album is One More Time, which was released as a single on uh, November 13th, 2000. The song features from Anthony, though his vocals are auto-tuned. A music video was made, and there's a link in the description. The next track is Aerodynamic, which was released as a single on uh, March 28th, 2001. The song is fully instrumental, and it's most well-known for its guitar solo. Not only is this my favorite song from this album, it's also my all-time favorite Daft Punk song. A music video was made, and there's a link in the description. After that is Digital Love, which was released as a single on uh, June 11th, 2001. The song features a sample of the song I Love You More by George Duke. A music video was made, and there's a link in the description. Next up is Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, which was released as a single on uh, October 13th, 2001. This is a really popular song, and it contains a sample of Cola Bottle Baby uh, by Edwin Birdsong. Uh, fun fact, the flesh game Kitten Cannon features an instrumental version of the song, and just about everyone who has uh, been to addicting games in the 2000s has played that game. Science knows how many times I've played it. The song is seen in the music video, and there's a link in the description. Up next is Crescendals, which is also the name of the band in the movie. The song itself is fully instrumental. It even, features a, it even contains a sample of, uh, of Can You Imagine by the Imperials. Uh, we followed it up with Night Vision. The song is more of an ambient track. Then again, Nine Inch Nails and Wendy Carlos have also ventured into ambient music. That's followed up by Superheroes. The song has a sample of uh, from Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed by Barry Manilow. Granted, I'm not overly familiar with, Benny, with uh, Barry Manilow, but I remember that he guest starred as himself on an episode of Family Guy back when the show was still good. Now, the following track is High Life. Fun fact, one of the updates for GTA V back in 2014 was also called High Life. A track after that is Something About Us, which was released as a single on November 14th, 2003. This song is more in the, the down-tempo genre. A music video was made, there's a link in the description. A track that comes next is uh, Voyager. The song is known for its guitar riffs, bass line, and use of synthesizers. A track that comes next is uh, Veritas Quo. It's another synth-based song. What comes next is Short Circuit. It's one of my favorite songs from this album. Yeah, it's more in the realm of breakbeat. The second to last track is Face to Face, which was released as a single in 2003. Todd Edwards was credited as a co-producer on the song. Apparently the song is about regaining consciousness and returning to reality. A music video was made, there's a link in the description. The finale of this album is too long. It was co-produced by Rome Anthony, who also performs vocals on this track. It's also the longest song from Daft Punk since it lasts for exactly 10 minutes. 
when researching this album, I read that it peaked at number 23 on the Billboard 200. It was also certified gold in America, Switzerland, Germany, Italy, Canada, and Australia. Now, platinum in Belgium, Denmark, and Japan. Two times platinum in the UK. And five times platinum in France. It mostly received positive reviews from critics since it has a 74 on Metacritic. It's just that The Guardian didn't like it. So it's fair to say that The Guardian is full of shit. I mean, they're basically the British version of Pitchfork. Which is ironic, because Pitchfork gave this album a positive review. Now, for my thoughts. I think this is a great album. Not only that, but I think it's the best album from Daft Punk. My favorite Daft Punk song, Aerodynamics, is also on this album, which is a big bonus. Overall, I highly recommend this album. Uh, now it's part of my question you. Have you listened to Discovery? If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? Have you seen the movie Interstellar 5555, The Story of the Secret Star System? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another review.